It's hot out there. We'll chill in the sun. Pick me or her, we're still gonna have fun. Let's party. Let's dance, you know what I'm saying? When I came into Big Brother 2, um, I very quickly gravitated to the Chill Town Alliance. People are intimidated by intelligence, vanity, and uh, power. And we possess all three of those things. It was kind of like the, the brat pack. Chill Town were better looking, cooler in their everyday lives, people you'd want to spend time with as opposed to buy an insurance policy from. Baby, I'm gonna get out for you. Yeah, I know. I fell for Krista, who I just found to be an amazing person. <laughs> I was able to uh, actually listen to a female speak and <laughs> not make it all about myself. Will you marry me? Krista and I never got married, but uh, we were engaged for a while. Um, we separated, and I haven't spoken to her for a couple years. I have nominated Mike, and I have nominated Krista. Falling in love with Krista clouded my judgment in the game and made me a little more of a target. It's like being in a movie, and the extras and the stand-ins take over the movie, and the stars are out. Because I'm a star, and he's an extra. And I kind of felt stupid, you know, especially um, fairly duped by people that are not as smart as me, quite frankly. Mike, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Paroled. Will and I are very good friends, but it would be a nice coup d'etat five years later to show him that maybe Mike Boogie's just as smart as he is. I would like to, to take a shot at him. I can be a very smart player that can be very dangerous in this game. Mike Boogie. Oh. ever told me six years ago that I'd be working at a Vegas casino, I'd said, yeah, right, sure. But I did it. Beautiful, good for you. In my normal life, I would never hang out with a middle-aged man named Chicken George. Hey, did you see Snoop Chicken Foot? Snoop Chicken Foot? They call me Chicken George from the first Big Brother show. I got voted off and Julie said I had to go. He's a minnow among sharks. What are you in paint? Oh, I don't know. Clearly, they have something growing. He's a smug. We're going to have to hurt him in a very painful way. All right. It's funny to me that America just loves Kaser. Oh, Kaser, he's such a teddy bear. He's so nice. That guy loves himself. He is very cocky. He's down. All right, there's the first alliance right here. We call you guys out. The fact that Will and Boogie are friends, they're co-owners in some bars and businesses. I mean, everyone's like knows they're together. It's Batman and Robin. Batman, Will, Robin, Boogie. We gotta, we gotta shore some stuff up. Shore some stuff up fast. Let's do our own thing. And ease in. Is it nice up there? It's okay. It could be a lot better if you come up here. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Will's very cocky. He thinks the world of himself. And that's fine. Somebody has to because I sure don't. This is a lot nicer house. Yeah. I watched last year. And so, you know, if we go in there, these guys are th think they're running. Yeah. And that's good. Let them think that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But if these guys think they're going to run up all of us up out of here, yeah. they've got another thing coming. Yeah. Jeez, who's going to go home this week? Who do you want to vote out? I don't know. No one likes Allison. People like Danielle. Like, Allison could fight Janelle for us. <laughs> that's where I'm thinking on that, too. If Danielle walks out that door and Allison stays, Ooh, look out, Cat Fight Central. Janelle versus Allison. It's going to be off the hook. Here's the deal. The way Allison was telling me is that she has everybody voting to keep her. I think she lies a lot. I just know she's going to do anything in the little scariest people. Yeah. They're both 
more that anyone from S6 pushes to keep Danielle, the more skeptical I am, especially James. God, I'm so much smarter. The HOH was a huge blow. I definitely didn't want one of the three S6 members to win. And if you had me rank in order who I would want to win, Kaser would have been the last name I would have written down. It's like a sequel. <laughs> I haven't spoken to Kaser yet. It's been 10 days. I don't know why I'm going to have a conversation with him now. I'm probably going to get nominated. Nothing I can do about it. After the food competition, I decided that was the opportune time to call Will and Mike Boogie up into the HOH room to check to see where they stood. All right, Kaser, let's hear. How's it going to go? You know nominations were going down. <laughs> you guys probably suspect he might be going up. It is a distinct possibility. <laughs> yeah. I have my reasons to get rid of you, and I have my reasons to keep you around, but I definitely think that it would probably be good to like weed out some of the uh, the stragglers. My thoughts are this, I just hate it when people cruise to the end and they sit back and they don't wanna take any risks and they don't wanna put themselves out there. I guess I'm not really calling you up here to really have you pitch why you should be safe. I'm here to kind of have an understanding that, you know, if you guys don't go up, let's take out a floater next week. If you guys, if you guys go for a floater, if you and guys, we win HOH next week, we go for floaters. Yeah. Here's the deal. I don't trust him for a second. Call me paranoid, but I don't trust season six. I'm not saying like you know this is not like an alliance or anything. I'm just saying kind of let's have an understanding. If you want a commitment to put up floaters, I mean that's that's been my mo since I got here. But at the same time, you know things get a little crazy up in here soon. Well, thanks for letting us know. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Your, does your team know about this move? And they're cool with it. And they have to be in HOH. Nice. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Obviously, if Will and I have a key in the box, we will be very excited. I think it's in a major, major, major mistake on Kaser's part not to nominate Chilltown. I think it's, you know, it's time for a little, it's a little chaos in this house. Nice. I think it's been like he thinks a lot. The lines of communication are open. If you have any thoughts or suggestions, just tell us and we'll hook it up. All right. Thanks, guys. Later. I made it very clear to them that we have no alliance together. This is pretty much an arrangement. I can't trust the chill town. I'll let them stew over this for a little bit. Do I think it was a good move for Kaser to nominate two floaters? No! He should have nominated me and Will! It was his opportunity to nominate the strongest alliance in this household, Will and Boogie. Are you kidding me? It was awesome. It was totally awesome. It is. Come here. Thank you. I swore to you on our future friendship, I, we did not make a deal. I, I know you did. I'm here to kind of have an understanding that, you know, if you guys don't go up, let's take out a floater next week. Nice. <laughs> I'm cool with it. Okay. I he told I... me he was going to go after what he calls floaters. That's yeah. what he said. I don't know if that's what, that's what we I'd are. call you, but... Okay. I mean, I think we're obviously there. We were the obvious choice. You know, anything can happen here. I know. I'm gonna go for the veto. I just hate it because if I do win the veto, then Nick goes home, and I feel like that's my fault. That's not true. They might be trying to backdoor Will, or maybe me, maybe Chick and George. I mean, those keys were in the last three spots for a reason, you know. Diane is a girl that I um, never would have met in my outside life, and I really have enjoyed getting to know her. And I think she's an amazing player and an amazing person. Listen, I'm the only previous winner here. If I put people, get their guards down, I said, look, nominate me. And I think that's maybe why I wasn't nominated. Hello? Will? Yeah. Hey, it's Boogie. Hey. Check this out. Let me hear. So I'm at the nomination ceremony, uh -huh. and Kaser put both our keys in the box. Yes! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we have the most unique thing in here is that there's no other pairs. When you win, I win. What makes Will and I stronger than the S6 Alliance is that we play with no fear. We're gonna end up running things in this house. It's just a matter of time. One thing that everyone has to be on the same page on is yeah. no one can deny oh, season yeah. six is totally together. Whoever wins the next HOH has to put up two of them. No choice. But the thing is, they have such good odds. They have four chances every time. I wanna make people worried about Big Brother Six. I think what I'll do is I'll plant some seeds, let them grow, nourish them, water them, grow these seeds, build up this anger and this hostility towards season six so that this group can jump on them and attack them. And I'll just sit back and watch from the sidelines. The S6 is the hub. Any floater that will like jam onto them, like I was turning. Her whole gig was, oh yeah, Jason, you're cool with us now, blah, 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 and I'm blah, blah, blah. I'm not cool with you for a second, and I know I'm kicked to the curb as soon as you guys are done with me. You're doing the same thing with Erica. Anyone not with them has to band together. Yeah. It's a very tough call for me right now because I like season six. I could align myself with them, but then I always know I'm gonna kind of be the odd man out. So I think at some point, I'm gonna have to go with the other side of the house. George, you I think this is the first conversation you've actually been privy to where wait to see you lie. Well, listen, Are you guys, not afraid of them? All what I know is, you know, there's season six cats, and then they're, we're just out there. Yeah. That's what I know. So are we going to allow this to go on and all be kind of not together? Well, you have to stick together, or otherwise you just, they just pluck the feathers of the chicken, and then we're gone. He always brings in the chicken analogy. <laughs> but I mean, can we count on you that you do understand that the four do I have a choice? Are a big threat? Yes, I understand. Yeah. And I'm cool. I have no choice. You know, these people, they already come in with an alliance. Well, the rest of us have band together to um, try and knock them out. No matter what anyone thinks about this game, we can all be agreed that someone from season six it has to go. There's a. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Holy. Nicole Miss got nominated and she just came out with the fire. Looks like flames. flames. Her hair is identically colored to the flames of hell right next to the nomination chair she currently resides in. You should sit on the, the chair closest to the wall. I should. Yeah. Today is Boogie's birthday. Happy birthday! It was the Mike Boogie birthday jam. I'm talking sushi, champagne, there was big old chocolate cake, but the creme de la creme, the whip creme de la creme, is Erica had written out happy birthday Boogie on her thigh. Do I get to lick that off? Yeah! Uh, yeah. Eat your cake. <laughs> Love it! I like sushi, but I like this better! The whipped cream on Erica's thigh tasted phenomenal. It was the best whipped cream I have ever had. Ah! The beauty of the Mike Boogie birthday bash is that half of the house wasn't even able to enjoy it. Sorry, Howie. Everyone should have a happy birthday, but at the same time, Howie and his uh, blue bandana team lost the food competition, you know, diving for rats. We're on restriction. We're all stuck to water and slop. All right, let me in. Mm. Oh my God. They got all my favorites too. Mm. 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 I really like Nicole Miss and I was sorry to see her go. On the other hand, Diane did stay and she's hot. Soon we're gonna go up. No. What? I don't think so. James he said he was mad at Kaser because he didn't like his nominations. He's gonna get called out big time. We'll see. So. He's enamored with us. He's enamored with us. He is, but he's egotistical, and I'm afraid the HOH has gotten his head, and it's week three, and he thinks he's going to win the show. He may think he's going to win the show. I mean, he's smart. Oh, he's very smart. I could be a half gla glasses, half full kind of guy, but he told me last night, he's like, look, why I knock out you and Will? He's like, that's the most obvious thing to do. Call the Hardy Boys. Call those Scooby-Doo kids. Call Sherlock Holmes. Get somebody in here who can figure out who James is going to nominate. 
I mean, James could really rock this house with the right combinations. Chicken George has become the Alice of the house. Remember Alice on Brady Bunch? Chicken George has become the house mother. I think we're about done, Holly. Thanks, Jersey. Be just a little bit. He cooks, he cleans, he takes out the garbage, he does the laundry. I didn't know I brought my mom here. It's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Boogie, where's this like whole incentive to like be buff come from, man? Because I'm looking around at you guys and I'm like, got to get a little workout on. When I walked into the Big Brother house, I was in here with some hunky dudes. So I decided that it was time uh, to really get in shape. I am currently working on a treaty between four Pakarak and six Pakistan, and uh, things are going okay. <sighs> Mike Boogie's working out like a madman. I was like, Mike, you really trying to um, slim down? He goes, I am, but I have my mom's hips. <laughs> what man says he has his mother's hips? All right, that's a wrap. Oh, half man, half not amazing. Now, I will tell you, this year there's a elliptical, there's a running machine. All of them are horribly inefficient, poor quality things. We had a weight bench, and it was better quality than the weight bench we have. I'd trade that good weight bench in for all this garbage. Ooh, I don't know about that weight bench idea. I'd rather have all this than hugs. OK, fine. Part of my strategy I use is complaining a lot. I try to break them down, demoralize them, really show them how miserable it is to be here. Truth is, it's not that bad. Basketball was a huge, great activity. Backgammon was a huge activity. Well, it was also the, the thrill of being on TV and the expectation of whatever. Oh, dude, come on. We used to sit around and talk about how famous we were going to be. You know, <laughs> we didn't have, yeah, thank you. Dude, he looks like a different person. I feel bad, man. Do you see his face? If I win veto, I'm going to take him off. No, no, oh, no you'll way. go up? Oh, okay. Obviously, my allegiance lies with my buddy Will. So ideally, I'd like to see Will uh, have his nomination vetoed and, uh, and somebody else get in there and be voted out. You have this nice guy cooking and cleaning every meal. You have the winner, the only winner here, the anything. evil, the evil guy. And these, keep him, they keep him well. Right now, uh, the S6 Alliance is amazingly calling Will the Pawn. Now, in what sick and twisted universe uh, do we live in that the greatest player to ever play this game can sit on the nomination block and be called the Pawn? It's a little quizzical. Yo ass ain't going home. They <laughs> 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 keep keeping well. Dick and Joe is going home. What is going on right now? Here's what's gonna happen. I need you to just chill. Get me a couple phones, ensure that I stay. <laughs> <gasps> the truth is, my strategy is letting everyone know that I wanna go home. That makes people not worried about me. I think I wiped the target off my back today with my saying that I'm out of here. If we can win at one HRH, we can Will's my best friend in the house. We are the original Chill Town Alliance. I'm extremely loyal to him, and he is gonna stay and fight with me like a Chill Town warrior. Love it. Come here, Boogie. Boogie. Excuse me. Can you get in the middle? Awesome. <laughs> Last night, the heavens parted, the moon was aligned, and I ended up in a bathtub with Erica and Janelle. Hello! It's great for my street credit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, so this is the highlight of my life. There's a sponge. Oh, oh sponge bath. Can I get a sponge bath? <laughs> okay, even though we're moving around, don't you think you'd rather have Willie or doesn't get Rather than Jace who wants to crucify you down? If I have to get into a tub 
with Janelle and Erica to make sure that I get the votes for Will to stay this week. I'm a committed friend and fellow Alliance member. I, I am, I am. I'm in a tub right now. The two hottest girls on reality TV. This is awesome. <laughs> now, all of America knows about your snoring, George, but the boogeyman also comes out at night. Oh, yeah. Take a look, guys. <laughs> Mike, what are you actually saying? I, I think I just miss all my friends and family in Concord, New Hampshire, and I'm just saying hello to them in my own special way. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, house guests. Understand this. I love Jace, but Will's my boy. He's my best friend in here. And uh, Chilltown has got to go to battle. Loves to eat corn on the kizzle. Straight home boy for shizzle. What up, Jace? Um, yo, man, I knew from minute one that I was going to become great friends with you. And uh, I definitely look forward to kicking it with you and laying down some farm boy tracks. It is better that Jace left rather than my running mate, Will. But it's still hard to see him go. He definitely had the same fighting spirit I do. I had high hopes of going far in the game with him. Bring, bring. Hello. Hey, Boogie. Yeah, what up, Dude, man? get this. You're not going to believe it. What? Big Brother All-Stars. I go in front of the entire house guest group, and I say, I hate you all. This season, I hate you all. Please don't use the power of veto on me. Vote me out. No one voted even against me. Everyone voted against Jace. <laughs> I thought I was going to be able to knock them down, but if not, I, didn't, I figured, damn, as a three under one HOH, Janelle is the only one that has any like relationship with us at all. At the end of the day, if Keso or Janelle won, which Janelle did, I feel like I could have a strategy talk with them. I could have a normal conversation with them. With Howie, he's just not bright enough to make any decision other than being a robot. <laughs> Will is very smart. He knows that uh, humor is a great way to, you know, break the ice. And there's nothing like a good puppet show. I mean, if I do say so myself. I have to name everybody first. Your name is Rick Foogie. This one is the lovely princess of the um, pond. Her name is Fennel. Actually, we call him Dr. McDreamy. This is his name. Your name will be Howie. Who are you kidding? <laughs> so basically the story is this. There's a pond. It's a beautiful pond. And there's a special little lady who lives in this pond. Her name is Fennel. It's her <laughs> pond. We're just living in it. <laughs> there were some other floaters going around. They were doing their own thing. And the truth is, sometimes they wanted to hang out over here. And sometimes they wanted to hang out with Dr. McDreamy and Rick Foogie, but they mainly just floated and floated around and floated around. Now, uh, I'm just going to plot For now, I'm starting to have feelings for <laughs> Dr. McDreamy. And the rest of the crew, they were like, oh, hell no, hell no. <laughs> This is the week, but if you get rid of one of those floater votes, you are already running. Now you're really running because you don't need to worry about how any of them are gonna vote. What they're trying to do is just cling on and then hope for the end. That they hope for the end they win that one HOH where they can put two of you up. Let's say we uh, take out one of the floaters. Yeah, they're coming after us and you're coming after us. No, we're not coming after you, genius. We're gonna make a run. We'll be the final six. You're gonna have to talk to James and Queso. It's going to take a huge leap of faith on everyone's part. If you can't do it, send me home. The only way we can get anything out of this summer is to work with you guys. This is my suggestion. Go upstairs and say, look, we're going to be evict Will this week, and we're going to use you as a pawn. And go to each one and say, we're going to put you up as a pawn. And Diane's going to be like, oh, I'm really scared. And Erica will start crying, and Marcellus will do a backflip, freaking out. If not one of them says, I trust you guys to save me, exactly. they, they freak out. They can't trust you, which means you can't trust them. What I'm telling you is, put me as a pawn. If you can trust me, I can trust you. And if not, I go home. You have to speak with actions here. The words in this house are nothing because anyone can lie, but you can't lie with your actions. Thanks.
now I'm really confused. Just don't put up two floaters. Put up Will and Floater. Yeah. And we, the bad guys of the house, Chill Town, we trust you. We'll be upstairs. We'll discuss it. You guys are gonna get played. Okay, I've nominated you, Boogie, and you, Erica. Boogie, you said you're coming after me. I dislike you very much. And I nominated Erica because she's so well liked in the house and I thought that people would absolutely not vote against her. And that's why I nominated you guys, I'm sorry. Okay. The best thing you can do in this situation is continue to interact with everyone, um, make them feel comfortable and at ease with the nomination, play for the veto, and then start making moves. There's a lot of game left to be played and um, I'm gonna play it till the end, baby. Will and I had gone to Janelle and worked really hard to try to get her to put up a couple floaters. So when I saw that my key was not in there, I felt uh, a little double-crossed. Janelle, you wanna make an enemy out of me? That's fine, but uh, I think you're gonna be sorry about that. What up, Janelle? Hey. So, oh, never mind about the speech at the nominations. That was all just... I was trying to make Erica feel better. I gotcha. No problem. So I was like, because everyone thinks that you don't, you don't like me either. Right. So, it works um, out fine. You and I are playing the power of veto. I think we will probably play in the power of veto too. You? Yeah. But I was thinking, um, if one of you wins, okay. you know, earlier today you guys said if I kept you and Will off the block, right, that you guys would vote at the person that I wanted you to vote out. Sure. Really? Yeah, we'll do whatever you want. I like this. It gives me new life. I don't want to make any deals behind my alliance's back, but I don't think anyone else is seeing the big picture here. They're not looking at, oh my god, there's five floaters in the house. And they have voting power, and they're actually much better players in Chilltown. We have a deal. Sounds good. All right. <laughs> See you at the POV. All right, bye. Anyone? Here I am. Sorry. Why is everybody picking on me? I don't get it. <laughs> Why did I get all the torture devices and these two people on the block got nothing? In the Big Brother house, actions speak louder than words. And when I saw Janelle uh, put the hindrances on Diane rather than Will and I, I knew that we were able to work together this week. I tried to push Mike Boogie and Chilltown up against the wall and I tried to tell you that wasn't gonna happen. And if Janelle follows through on her word, this game's about to get really, really interesting. It's rough out here. What happens if you win veto? Is he gonna be okay? Yes, he's gonna need stitches. After winning the power of veto, I was extremely excited, and there was a pair of goggles on the ground, and I just decided to give them a celebratory boot. Apparently, they were glass. I ended up with 10 stitches in my foot. Okay, so uh, this is the veto ceremony. Eric and I have been nominated for eviction, and I have the power to veto one of the nominations. Although the great philosopher Sylvan Bitton once said, it is better to give rather than receive. Unfortunately, I have a lot at stake here and I have decided to use the power of veto on myself. Surprise, surprise. So now that I have vetoed one of your nominations, Janelle, it is time for you to nominate somebody else for eviction. Fellow house guests, this decision did not come very easy to me. It was really difficult, and I had to go back and forth all week, and it wasn't very comfortable for me. It was the hardest week I've ever dealt with in my life. But, unfortunately, I have to nominate you, Diane. I knew it. This concludes the power of veto ceremony. Bring. Hello. Will. Yo. Yo, it's Boogie. Hey. Check this. Okay. okay. 
So I go to the veto ceremony, right? I veto myself off the block, obviously. Naturally. So I think they're about to call your name. They are. <laughs> Janelle puts Diane up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this show is it's a lot more interesting than week, doesn't it? It's a little nuts around here. <sighs> My body hair has nothing to do with you. <laughs> You're like Charles Manson without the organizational ability. Yeah. You're like Ted Bundy without the ability to rap out with girls. Clearly, you're a criminal. You've just not done that big thing that's going to push you over the edge and require lifelong incarceration. Lifelong incarceration? Yeah. That sucks. You would love jail. To work out, wear ugly clothes, kiss boys. It's your niche. <laughs> oh, God. It's kind of like being here. <laughs> what we needed was dissension among the four. Mm -hmm. Kayser and James wanted you gone, and that was a deal. Okay. Well, she didn't do it, so mm -hmm. all bets are off. BB6 James is back, so this is the new four. James, it's myself, and you two. And James is cool with it? Totally down with Positive. it. Positive. He has our back. So it's us four making the run. Making the run. All right. Okay. What's he going to do if he gets HOH? He's putting her ass up. What? Yeah. I find that hard to believe. No. He said that's it. It's done. Ring. Call her ID. Mike Boogie, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? So check this out. You ready for the latest? Sure. I think I just formed a sub-alliance between us and James from S6 and Danielle, the girl we tried to vote out the first week. This is Mike Boogie? Yeah, they're going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get these fools a blindfold because they're in the dark. They're in the dark. What we need to do right now is make sure somebody gets HOH from our crew. Finally, it has to be finally, done. we need to. We gotta get the power. We gotta get the power. Mike Boogie? Yes. You made Big Brother history. I did? Yep, this is the first time that someone has injured themselves in a veto victory celebration. Yes. <laughs> Are you. you worried that this injury could hurt your chances in future competitions? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely a little concerned. I have 10 stitches in my foot, and uh, the doctor says they should be out in about a week or so, so I'm just hoping there's nothing too physical before I get those out. Did you agree to vote out? Diane? Yeah, I did. I mean, it's the only way I can save Will. We'll do whatever you want. <laughs> See ya. I'd like to be somewhat of my word. Why give the age eight what the age eight wants? Part of me wants to keep Diane in this game just to drive Janelle crazy and say, now, the girl you wanted out, she's still here. So now what you gonna do? I don't want the house to do her dirty work. You get something you want and then you immediately turn around. It's never gonna be good for you. No, 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 I hear you. I don't this bitch work. I would want to keep Diane in the house over Erica. A, she's cute. B, she's cute. C, she will definitely go after uh, Janelle. Mike Boogie promised Janelle that he would vote whichever way she wanted, but his chill town partner, Will, said they were open-minded. Will Mike keep his word to Janelle? Hi, Mike. Hi. Who do you want evicted from the Big Brother house? Uh, regrettably, I vote to evict Diane. Thank you, Mike. It looks light. Ten grand! Yeah! Hey, listen, that's not a bad way to go out. I don't care about the 10 Gs, dude. Shut up. Booyah, Kasha, there it was. 10 Gs in front of my eyes. However, I didn't want to celebrate. I had to do a little acting performance uh, because I knew that the $10,000 was a hot commodity for a lot of people in the competition. It's going to be with the legend of two who makes our first statement. Oh, my God. The fact that Danielle got it is the best of the bunch. she is ready to cut the house to I love that Danny is head of household. She was the black widow in that spider web out there. I would buy a ticket to sit at the table for this nomination ceremony. It's funny how their demeanor changed. Oh boy, I'm really enjoying this game. You read what you saw. Exactly. James uh, looked at us and he said, I hope I can trust you guys. However, it's hard to trust villains, especially if you're a villain yourself. 
I was not surprised at all that Janelle and James went up. James is a member of the Legion of Doom, along with Will and Danielle and myself. And we hatched what we think is the perfect plan, which is to nominate James and Janelle. And we will save James this week and hopefully vote out Janelle. Hey, Boogie, did you win uh, POV today? Nah. I want a trip to Aruba for two in a plasma television. Did you win POV? No, I won uh, 5,000 bucks. The reason to make Marcellus a target is it keeps more attention off of Chilltown. If I took the blame for the trip, which I knew you took, I could blame the money on Marcellus. I'm, dude, I can't make the math work. I'm just telling you. So what's going on? What I miss? What's going on? Talk to me. Well, they're pissed because they think Marcellus got a bunch of the stuff. And they also think he did one of the bad things, either the slop or the... Right. OK. So, if you'll take out Marcellus, they're going to offer you amnesty. Are you fighting this day? Yeah. Okay, so here's the I don't care if you're giving up. You would have James and I stay. I hope I can trust you guys, but us three, you two, against the, the floaters. I definitely trust you more than James. There's definitely ups and loyalty. For the first time, Chilltown is sitting in a win-win situation. Hey, can we make a deal with you? We need your votes. Yada, yada, yada. We do this for you. We do that for you. Will and I are just sitting back accepting offers right now. Okay, all right, man. Either way, I'm just happy no one from Chilltown is going home. We've survived another week in the Big Brother house. And um, it's win-win either way. Mike appears to be aligned with James, but in the end, who does he see as a bigger threat? Hi, Mike. Hi. Please reveal your vote. Hate to do it on your birthday, but uh, I vote to evict Kaser. Thank you, Mike. You should have got down with Chilltown earlier. I tried to tell you something that you're going to see very shortly, and that's that you could not trust your boy James. So the first member of S6 has left the building. King Kaser took the uh, walk of shame this evening. He was a good guy who would have been very tough to beat in the end, and I was happy to see him get eliminated. Answers, please. The correct answer is A, Josh. Congratulations, Janelle. Yes! You're the new head of household. Yes, Jamie. I did it, Howie. <laughs> this one's for you, Kaser. So here's what we do. You, I, us, Marshall, I'm pretty sure Will and I and James can convince Janelle. If she has to put up Danielle, put her up against Marcellus, and then we could get rid of Marcellus and still save Danielle. <laughs> I'm going to try to influence Janelle. I'm going to try my hardest because we have to convince her to put up Marcellus because I need Marcellus to go. I need strong allies to combat Janelle later on. And Marcellus is, he's a weak link. I guess we'll just take it one day at a time. We'll just push for Marcellus. We gotta make a try for it.
Which one? Which one? <laughs> I really like Mike Boogie. I have hung out with him a few times outside, and I think people are on to us. <laughs> it kind of doesn't help when your secret alliance is sleeping in your bed. It kind of just gives it up just a little. We like each other, and there actually are genuine feelings between the two of us. Big Brother just brings out the romantic in me, or maybe it's just the showmantic in me. Whoa. Okay, who are we kidding? She's got a nice rack. Her body is John Blaze. It's off the hook. Oh, my God. But she's smart and nice, too. Mike, let's just leave and go have kids. Yeah, let's go somewhere. You don't have to get married because I know you like have like sing against marriage. Don't always believe every story you hear. You're the one. I tell little that. stories in here. I know, but you can't ask me to marry you on another reality. You've already done it. <laughs> let's Same send, show. Let's not even wait for the finale. <laughs> let's just do it like now. Okay. The other night I decided to do a fake proposal to Erica. We were joking around about my engagement from season two of Big Brother. I want to know, Kristen. No, you didn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> Will you marry me? Okay, Erica. Yes. I came on the show <laughs> looking for a lot of things. Fortune, mm -hmm. competition. Mm -hmm. Me. Time with Chicken George. <laughs> and instead, I found your heart. Mm -hmm and my happiness. <laughs> Would you marry me? Yes. <sighs> Let me tell you the real deal, folks. It may be a very rough week for Erica. She's on the block, and she could be evicted this Thursday, so she's going to need to uh, show me a little loving to try to uh, swing my vote her way. Thanks, buddy. She said yes. So um, I'm going to play around with her a little bit. Trust me on this one, things may not be as they seem. Not going anywhere. <laughs> things went almost perfectly today. We wanted Danielle to win the power of veto, and it was extremely successful. She needs to be careful how she talks to you guys because we don't want to lose their allegiance. Janelle's infuriated that Danielle won the POV. However, she's a little more mad at James than she is at me. Clearly, James is with Danielle. Obviously, he's in the Legion of Doom with her. But I want Janelle to be suspicious of him at all times because I'm suspicious of him. You gotta go fix this, dude. You both go. Both right now. Did she tell you to say yes? I said I'm gonna go send you. The thing is, is like the main thing was to get Danielle so she didn't win the veto. What the hell happened? I mean, I mean, you tell us. James is in your know. alliance, and I'm the one who thinks he's throwing. And then he saves you didn't Danielle. get rid of Danielle though. You got rid of Marcellus. Well, I mean, so what? Yeah. Boogie wants said... Marcellus out. I mean, that's great. She's the H O H. What do you think Marcellus was gonna do if he won? You know he's in an alliance with Danielle, right? No, he would save Erica. No, he's gonna save he's Danielle. Gonna save he's Danielle. in an alliance he's, with Danielle. If Marcellus won, he was gonna use it on Danielle. I mean, You're putting out Marcellus because if we're, we are gonna lose somebody to an accident, we're not losing George. Oh, fine. You're putting out Marcellus. What? If we do lose somebody, we're losing a, we're losing a competitor on that side of the house. You're, you're, not, gonna gonna lose, you're not gonna lose anybody. You're not gonna lose anybody. You want me to put up Marcellus? Yes, house? yes. It's and the you. ultimate test of us, too, because you know how much we hate Marcellus. Marcellus will get voted out. No, he's not then, 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 then that means that you guys aren't with us if he doesn't get voted out. Well, the main thing is, is we didn't want Danielle to win it. I don't think Marcel. Well, we it. didn't either, but I, I mean, she didn't want you to win HOH, but it happened. I mean, the tension with Howie and Janelle was absolutely palpable. We had to deflect any suspicion away from Chilltown. The weak link in this chain is James. Why do you guys not see that? I don't care. We need the numbers. Last year we, we put them up and it our whole game up. We're yeah, not doing it this year. It's not happening. It's a different game. The different game, does that look like Kaser? It's not. It's Mike Boogie. <laughs> if you guys don't trust James, why are we supposed to trust James? 
Yeah, James just came what? to us and he's like, Danielle, uh, Janelle's mad at you. I'm like, mad at me? I ate 19 pieces of sushi and got my ass beat like a bull. You're no, the one who I'm, went out I'm like a bitch. I'm mad at him for not getting rid of Danielle. Maybe you should consider getting rid of James. You, now, with me. Why? Why? You just give up. Why? We want to take a shower at HOH. Now. Chilltown is on a little mission right now called... Operation Double Date. And the way it works is I get very close to Erica. Will gets very close to Janelle using our charisma, good looks, and winsome personalities. And what these girls think is that they're winning our hearts and they're manipulating us. But uh, what we're really doing is ripping their hearts out of their chest and squeezing the blood in the pocket of their cheap blouses before they can blink twice. What's, what's going on? Oh. They're going to take a naked shower together? Yes. Yeah. Naked, right? Because yes. I got up out of bed. I got woken up, so I better see some boobies. Boobies, boobies. It's all fun and games. Until she gives it up and then gets worried about me on three. All right, let's set it up. kind of showering stuff going on a lot of washing each other and maybe a few random kisses here and there. oh yeah oh my god mike might have taken his shorts off i didn't see anything i think erica saw something i was like oh i don't believe you The entire shower sequence tonight is all strategy. These girls we took no pleasure from it. We gotta get rid of Marcellus this week. He's going home. He's got to go this week. Will and I got Janelle to put up Marcellus, which we told her was just for a pawn. You want me to put up Marcellus? Huh? Yes, yes. And it's the ultimate test of us, too, because you know how much we hate Marcellus. Marcellus will get voted out. But, uh, no, but wait, not. guys, yeah, this then, is the then, thing. Then, then that means that you guys aren't with us if he doesn't get voted out. But in reality, he is someone that I haven't trusted from day one, so we want to vote out Marcellus. We had to go about it in a bit of a sneaky way, but that's how things work around here. Best case scenario, Erica gets his HOH, she sends Chanel home. We then send Erica home next week. Because Erica is going to stab oh. you in the back, dude. Chilltown is the Beatles of this show. I'm the Paul McCartney. Mike Boogie is the John Lennon. Unfortunately, Erica is still the Yoko Ono. She's been in this band entirely too long, and she's going to ruin our career if we're not careful about it. Today we set the groundwork. Tomorrow we set off the explosion. It's going to be Pearl Harbor. If we do this, and Marcellus walks out the door, and Janelle realizes that she was just bamboozled, it's no turning back after that. Yeah, let's just do it. Have yeah. Howie and Janelle sit there looking stupid as yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you what. I'm glad I'm on this side of the Legion of Doom, because I would not want to be on the other side. I'll tell you that right now. You are three mean. Oh. <laughs> look, look who's... Mike, please go to the diary room. Hi, Mike, it's Julie. Congratulations. You were the first house guest to answer yes. correctly. Yes! And you have won a power we call the coup d'etat. Okay. Here's how it works. First, you may exercise this power only once, and it's valid for the next three evictions beginning tonight. Right before the voting takes place, I will ask if the person with this special power is prepared to use it. If you are, you will stand up and overthrow the head of household by replacing the two nominees with anyone you want. The only exceptions are the dethroned HOH and the veto winner, who, as you know, are immune from being nominated. The vote will then take place immediately. Neither you nor the dethroned HOH will be allowed to vote. In the event of a tie, you will be the one to break it. Now. 
Big Brother will not reveal this power to the other house guests until the day you choose to use it. So choose wisely. Okay. Um, I'm speechless for the first time in 40 some odd days. I, I really don't know what to say. I'm, I'm finally speechless. You got me, Big Brother. You got me. I'm speechless. Mike made a promise to Janelle to vote out Erica, but now it appears Chilltown has another plan. Hi, Mike. Hi. Please reveal your vote now. I vote to evict Marcellus. Thank you, Mike. Marcellus is a little ho. Uh, he left tonight exactly how I thought he would leave. He was a little baby who didn't get his way, and I'm very happy that I was the orchestrator of his demise. That was the worst person to do live. <laughs> we didn't have time to get to him. When Chicken George uh, had to make a live nomination, I knew we were headed for a mess. Chicken George is such a wild card, and you just never know what the guy's going to do or what he's thinking. We could It would be great if George does back door Janelle. Let's be honest, then she's done. That's one less person I have to worry about in this game. Oh, that's crazy. What's up, dude? Okay, so here's the scenario. Are you happy with your nominations? You want yes. to stand? Yeah. I want you to do what's best for you, but I have to warn you. What do you think the house as a general whole wants? James. But no, I mean, in the big picture of if someone could give, go up instead. You have to get, understand something, George. Janelle did not save you. We all saved you. James, me, and Will. This might be a golden opportunity to take out Janelle. If Howie doesn't win the POV, she's the best player here. It's the only POV she's not going to be in. And there's five or six votes sitting down there that all want her out. There's a bunch of different scenarios of who could win, use the power of veto to take off James or Erica, and we could basically backdoor Janelle out of this game. You will get a free pass to the back of the line for another couple weeks. Just think about it. Her ball didn't come out. Maybe it was serendipitous. Could be a punch. So just think about that. Not for what we want. Think of for you. Done. You know what I mean? Okay. All right. So just think about that. Done, boy. Thanks, man. Oh, man. It reminds you of the principal's office in high schools with people coming in, people coming out, trying to figure out who's telling you the truth, trying to figure out who's not telling you the truth. George, I want to offer you this. To go after the most feared person in the house, think of all the people that'll be playing in the next HOH if she were to leave. Erica, Danielle, myself, Will, James. Think of those five people. And over here is going to be Howie. Do you like his chances of winning HOH? Or do you like these people's chances of winning HOH? I know what I got to do, Bungie. OK. I know well, what I got to do. The fact that Chicken George is protecting Janelle and Howie annoyed me on many levels. Number one, it would prevent us from getting one of them out with this eviction. But number two, they're the ones that we had to fight to convince to keep him off the nomination block. Don't tell him that I told you that, because I... Of course not. But I will remind him that you reap what you sow. You know what? I'm going to have an open forum discussion, because I really don't feel like holding my tongue. Chicken George, if you're thinking about nominating Will, I'm not going to let my game or Will's game be sacrificed by keeping my mouth shut if Will's going up. I, I mean, I'd like to hear that, and I'd like to know why that would happen. 
versus somebody else. Chicken George can be influenced by just about anybody in this house. And I wanted to be sure that my voice was the last one heard before the veto ceremony. We might as well air the sheets out then, okay? I don't think it's fair to Janelle. She's put a lot into the game just to throw her under the bus like that. There's a room full of people you can nominate. Why will is what I'm saying. I don't, I'm not saying Janelle versus, I mean, you could put any of these people up. I figure the doctor's the best player in the game. I'm flattered. And he is. Last night I went to Chicken George and I asked him to nominate me. I'm totally comfortable with that. Except I forgot to tell Mike Boogie. Mike Boogie's very protective of me. He wasn't happy when he found out I was being nominated. So you want him out? I don't want anybody out. Well, if people take care of you in this game, you should take care of them, George. Will put in a big effort to save you last week, and you're not was that, very much was that all? Was that all true, then? Yeah, yeah. it was true. <laughs> and, I have, and I'd like to hear them acknowledge it. It was between Boogie, Chicken George, or Marcellus. Listen, I will fully take the fall from Marcellus leaving. I influenced Janelle to do it, but it was to save Boogie, and it was to save Chicken George. And that's the truth. Howie, what do you have to say? Um. I don't know. I think we've covered everything. I'm going to ask you one more time. There is a power in the house. There is speculation. Who has it? I'm not confirming or denying who would have the power, but there's a general acceptance of who does. Julie said this person will have the power to change the face of this game forever. Is that something that you maybe want to go up against? I'm probably yeah. up against that right now anyway. <laughs> Can you keep me? Yeah. Seriously? Yes. You all right? Keep me? Yeah. Why? It's really for who? Well, they switched up last week, you know? They just they get shitting shaky. Are you going to pack? Yeah, you got to. <laughs> I'm packed. I'm almost packed. James and Janie, I'm, you know, completely confident they're voting for me. I need at least bogey your will. They all promised me, looked me in the eye, swore that they're keeping me, so... Yeah, I hate for them to have to go back in their promise. Four O's before O's. Yeah, of course. Thanks, bro. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of funny, actually. I hate to say that, but... Why oh, stand up, stand up, stand up. <laughs> Why do you keep asking me, dude? I'm just kidding. Howie made me swear that I would vote to keep him. This house is full of lies. If you think you're gonna play it without lying the whole way through and win this game, well, you're lying to yourself. I think we gotta get rid of Erica, man. What happened last week? Or should we get rid of Erica? Erica is the best player to go home this week. Howie's a weak player, but he's with Janelle. Well, I'd love to get rid of Howie, but are we making the right decision? Howie is a weak player, but he's also, like, strength with Janelle. Here's the thing, if you want to vow, I'm vowing out Howie, I'm comfortable with it, but we need you to vote him out. I can't vote Howie out. Like, Knowing all that, hey. I say get rid of Erica. It is literally coming down to the 12th hour. Howie could leave, Erica could leave. I have no idea what's going on. We hold people's fate in our hands, and we can't decide. I don't know what to do. Okay. Here's the difference. The difference is I'm supposed to be in an alliance with Howie and Janelle. Okay, so are we? Are we? Hi, Mike. Hi. Who would you like to evict? I vote to evict Howie. Thank you, Mike. By a vote of three to two, Howie, you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. Ugh. Sorry, Howie. Thanks for the sellout, buddy. Tight. Class move. Yeah, Another yeah, class, class act move. leaves the Big Brother House. Yeah. Throw it to my face. Lie to me, you little punk. Howie, get to step in. Get to step yeah, in, what are Howie. You do about There's 20 it? people standing Knock outside the door. Any get to step in. Another really class act leaves the house. my ass. Class act. Class act. You got, you, uh, the chill town's word is good as gold. Go get a yeah. life, Howie. Go get a life, dog. Super Bowl, baby! Woo! Gnomes? Oh. Congratulations, Mike. You're the new head Super of household. Bowl. Super Bowl! George? Please hand over the HOH bedroom key to Mike. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> yo, yo, give me some love, give me some love. I didn't expect that at all. What a sore loser.
Hey, buddy, a uh, little news flash. You're playing Big Brother. It's a game where people lie. Don't know if you got the memo. Give it to me. I think Howie's gonna regret what he did. I think he is. He should. <laughs> Yo, Big Brother, I hope that head of household room is nice and chilly because Chill Town is in the building. That's for you, Howie! Oh. Coup d'etat power that I had won was only good for three evictions. Uh, the first two, I elected not to use it, and now I'm head of household. So the coup d'etat power is now no longer part of the Big Brother game. All right, let's see what we got. We don't know what this is. <gasps> nice. Wow! Chill Town is looking sharp this week. We got the head of household room. Wow. Oh no, they put the bikini photo. <laughs> Of course, Big Brother had to clown me out a little bit and put the bikini photo from season two. Are we ready to get down and dirty? <laughs> That's all my right there. <laughs> yes! Got a cool shoe here, boy. Feels really good to be the head of household and have Chill Town North. It's uptown. Congrats, Boogie. Thank you, you guys. Where do we even begin? Here's my thoughts. I think what we do is this. I nominate Janelle and James. Putting up Janelle and James. If James wins POV, send Janelle home. If Janelle wins POV, send James home. From the outside, the Legion of Doom is invulnerable. No one can break in. But there's a little bit of crack in the armor that started from the inside out, and that's me. I don't trust James. James is currently in alliance with every single person in this house. We tell Janelle, look, the whole house wants you out. We want you to stay. You got to tell her James is stabbing her in the back, too. Me and you helped Janelle win the POV, really. Mm -hmm. No one in their right mind, the way everything's gone down, will think that we're remotely trying to keep her. Mm -hmm. However, as an insurance policy, if one of the other people wins the POV, we'll just send Janelle home and that'll be fine. Perfect. My nominations will reflect what I feel is the best setup for Chill Town to come down the home stretch. What up, Yo. Perfect. I left my door open. I know, I we're didn't. We're just finishing that. No, yeah. it was locked. Tell James what we were just talking about. Or should I get Danielle or is that too suspicious? That's very too suspicious. Okay, all right, all right. So I think put up you and Janelle. Mm -hmm. The moment you got HOH, I knew it was going to be me and Janelle. Yeah. The, the, the Legion of Doom is safe this week no matter what happens. Absolutely. Because we have the numbers. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. All right, so cool. We're all on the same page. <gasps> Let's make this happen. OK, so I have nominated you, James, and I've nominated you, Janelle. Um, as I said earlier, uh, I have put up two people who are very good at this game. And um, I said from day one that I was coming after season six. You were a powerful group of four. There's two of you left. And Janelle, you told me a long time ago to win an HOH and do something about it. And, uh, and that's what I did. So this meeting is adjourned. Janelle, Janelle, he like is right down. down. He is down. Look, yeah. I, need, I need a hug here. I need a hug. <laughs> of course. Okay, look, look, it's Danielle, Erica, and James versus it's us three. three. And we're going to try to help you win it. If, you, if we can't get you win it, we're going to try to win it. But that's great for you. This is their thought process. Erica thinks she has us. Danielle thinks that she has us. Sure. James thinks that, like, fine. Chicken George is in his own world. We realize they're all coming after us. Well, let's all come after now. Okay, definitely. It is absolutely imperative that Janelle remains in this house. Why? She's a much bigger target than Chilltown. Her as an individual is still a bigger target than Mike Boogie and I as a pair. It's unbelievable. We have to keep her here, even if she's not on our side, just so that the others will chase her down. I know you think it's a weird, dark time. The light is about to... If you guys help me, I'll totally work with you. I guess. All right. I'll, I, honestly, like, I love it. 
We need the queen bee. <laughs> I'm very suspicious about them. They say that they need me in this game and they only got rid of Howie for my benefit. If I'm here though, I'm going after them. James thinks the show is fixed in Janelle's favor. Well, it is. I'm the one fixing it, James. She took the little feet, okay? Do that. How it's it's in, it's in his ass now. You, you know what? Okay. Another thing. <laughs> the question is, I can't wait to see this jury house when they're like, Marcellus, why are you here? Uh, chill town. Howie, chill town. James, chill town. This goes poorly. Erica and Danielle are gonna wanna try to put us up. So okay, be pissed, be pissed. When Janelle won the power of veto, Will and I we had to act to the rest of the house like we just couldn't believe it. We laid it on real thick that we were upset. No, we could pass. Well, yeah, Erica's here. Sorry. Um, I'm just gonna go work out. I just, I, if you guys want to talk, uh, we'll have plenty of time. Chill out, Boogie. I'm beside myself. This is ridiculous. And use the power veto to save myself. Well, Boogie, since I have just vetoed um, one of your nominations, I would like you to rename a uh, replacement nominee. So, unfortunately, When someone on the block wins the power of veto, it's very difficult. You have to replace that person. I have to pick the worst dressed man in the history of television. George, with an outfit like this, there is no other seat Thank right you, Michael there for you. OK. This veto meeting is adjourned. A man once said, all good things must come to an end. James might need to go. Unfortunately, much like Howie, I think there might be a freight train coming in his direction. So I, I went to Danielle and I said, look, I have serious concerns. I'm like, James is with Janelle. There's no other way around it. And she was like, I don't know, I don't know. We may not be able to do this without her being OK with it. For me, there's no turning back. He has to go because if he stays, he's really going to be coming after me. And thus, you. Right. This is the decision that I'm going to look back and either be like, this is what kicked me out, or this is what helped William and I make it far. I think James needs to leave. He's very untrustworthy, and at the end of the day, I don't think he has our backs. How is Danielle going to react? That's the big question. If Danielle's not OK with this, she's coming after us. She will not support us, and we're alone. Yeah. Mike, oh. how he got in your face right before he left the house oh. last week if James hadn't gotten in between the two of you, do you think it would have come to blows? Uh, I sure hope not. That guy's got about 40 pounds on me. Uh, you know, it's the heat of the moment, and if I sold lightsabers for a living, I'd be full of anger, too. <laughs> <laughs> Erica and I are having a full-on showmance. I think she's a great girl. Uh, any guy would be lucky to be with her. I think the world of her, you know, as long as she doesn't get in my way of winning them all the marbles, then um, I think everything's going to be fine. We have three, three girls, Let and we're kind of with all of them. You're going to showmance Erica, I'm going to showmance Janelle, and we're going to both have Danielle as the mom, and we're going to let them fight it out. I know this sounds crazy. I think I can get Erica to take me to the finals. I think Janelle take us to the final three. I would trust Erica trust so Janelle. much more as trust the winner. Janelle so much more than Erica. As the winner? Mm -hmm. As the winner. Yep. You don't know, I mean, I can't believe you're repping this girl. No, 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 don't get crazy, don't get crazy. Erica is really freaking me out, man. I can't put my finger on it, but something about her just doesn't sit right. I don't trust her, I don't believe her. She's kissing everyone's butt, and I think she's playing my boogie. She's fine, dude, she's so fine. Like, you have no All idea. Right. We hang out, it's... 
I trust her a million times more than Janelle. That's because you have a relationship with Erica. I mean, Janelle tells me all the stuff Erica's telling her, but she's not lying to me. It is very possible that Janelle is setting up a master play to uh, come after Chilltown, and she's doing that through her flirtations with Will. Janelle doesn't make me feel special. Janelle makes me feel that she is worried that she has no one left and she will work with us. But she thinks she makes you feel special. If I've seen it once, I've seen it a thousand times. You have two great guy friends, and then the girls enter the scene. Well, Chilltown's in a whole lot of trouble because our fate lies in the hands of these two girls. Look, I can't make this clear enough. We're the Beatles. You're John Lennon. I'm Paul McCartney. This week, we're bringing Yoko into the Beatles, and we just have to figure out who Yoko is. Are we bringing in Janelle or Erica? One of them is coming with us this week. James, he's Ringo Starr. Chicken George, he's in the monkeys. <laughs> it's time to go to the head of household bedroom and check in with Mike, the current HOH. Hi, Mike. Hey. Now remember, your housemates cannot hear this conversation, so feel free to speak your mind. Okay. Now, one second, you're gunning to get Janelle out of the house. The next, she's apparently an honorary member of Chilltown. Where do you really stand with Janelle? Uh, well, Will and I launched Operation Double Date with uh, Erica and Janelle, and we realized that uh, as long as Janelle was in the house, she's a big target that people would still want to come after. And rather than Chilltown be the big targets, we thought it was wise to leave her in the game. So Will feels the same way? Oh, yeah. It was Will's idea, and uh, it's working pretty well. She's a terror in the competitions, and we really feel like we can make a run to the end if, uh, if she works with us. Do you trust her? Well, not 100%. You can't trust anyone 100%. We are in the process of, you know, taking out all her friends and teammates uh, this, this season. So uh, she may come after us. Now, you and Will are the best of friends, but there might come a point where you may have to choose between friendship and a half million dollars. How prepared are you for that choice? Well, five years ago, uh, Will chose the half a million uh, over me. He moved on in the game at my expense, and uh, I'm prepared to do it this season, but I really hope that the two of us can make it to the end. Now, Mike, you never got to exercise the power we call coup d'etat, but did it play into your strategy nonetheless? Uh, yeah, having the power, you know, the first inclination is to use it and make a big move in the game, but I just thought it was smarter to hold on to it, have the threat of the power for the other house guests, make our moves, set us up for the stretch run, and uh, ultimately I just thought it was smarter not to use it. Thank you, Mike. Thanks. And you can head back downstairs to the living room. Okay, thanks. Uh, I had very high hopes that the Legion of Doom could make it to the Final Four. Uh, Will uh, was a little... Uh, hesitant to vote out Chicken George, and I have to agree with him. You are far more superior. The stats are very high right now, and I think everyone realizes that a great player just left, and our moment could come next. James is a heck of a player, and the reason he get, got those votes is people were afraid of him. I don't think anyone can really blame anyone. I don't blame you guys. I know Will had to do what's best for him. It, it's something I'm not happy with. I was not happy with this decision either. I'm just letting you guys know I'm not happy. I know. Okay. I honestly was sitting there and I thought to myself, if it comes back to two, what would I do? Why didn't you know about him? I choose to evict James. I don't know. That doesn't sit well with me. Not me either. It doesn't make sense. And he's going to the jury house and he's gonna know. Why would she not vote for James? That's Will. He hangs out with her 12 hours a day. Will basically admitted that he had a hand of getting rid of James. I don't know if you want to talk to Will individually or whatever. I tried and I kept saying it. I said it to him 20 minutes before and I just wouldn't listen. And at the end of the day, he just said, I have to do this. Danielle needs a friend. I'm playing the good cop, Will's a bad cop, and she needs to feel like one of the people from Chilltown who just bounced uh, her main ally didn't want it to happen. We have to regain control of her and have her uh, allegiance until it's time for her to go. This game is crazy. I don't know how you did this the first time. I was onto something. Get out quick before the mm -hmm. ugly. It gets even worse. 
not worth it. It's not worth it. You lost another HOH. You realize I have now lost 21 HOHs in a row. The person I, I really wanted to win was either Erica or Janelle. Uh, Will uh, threw yet another competition uh, in brilliant fashion, and I think it's going to work out well for us this week. Now I'm ringing the doorbell. Oh, you want some alone time? Oh, no, I want your time. It's awesome. Hi. Hello, HOH. <laughs> Happy for you, you finally got the room. All your stuff. So like, we could, wait, what are we doing with Will? What do you mean? Will and Janelle? Well, Will. Janelle obviously has to go. Yeah, clearly. And Will's going up. You won't put Danielle up? Don't we? All right, Boogie. Don't we want to send Will to the, to the jury? Wouldn't we rather send? Not I mean, now. <laughs> I mean. If you're doing that, you're committing in one direction. That's. I oh, know. Well, that's that's what I, we have to talk. Let's talk. I mean, Let's talk. I mean, you have to you have to tr think of Will as an individual here. I mean, he's going to be like, I thought we were rolling. What's up? Right, right, right. If you said you, you and I have talked I, about like sending Will to the jury. Yeah, and I like, just didn't intend for it to be this early. I still need some protection. Well, the, the, is your allegiance to him or is it to me? My, my allegiance is to you, and I keep saying that, and I'm like, I feel like you're like, my allegiance is to Will. If you said pick one person? Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm happy sending Will to the jury. Mm -hmm. I am, I just don't want to do it now. She was under the impression that uh, Will would take one for the team and leave the house, and I was like, put the brakes on that one, sweetheart. We need to, uh, to talk about putting Danielle in there. Danielle's like, ah, and aggravating the way she just runs to the power every time, you know? I mean, I know you guys are tight, but she's just like, I know what her objective is. What? I know what her objective is. Yeah. Huh? She's just so dangerous, like, she's just, I know. Like, we have to keep her in the circle for now. Obviously, uh, my uh, allegiance is to Will, and I want to get to the finals with Will. But uh, I also have to make Erica think that there's a chance that uh, that I will bring her. If I found out you're playing me after this, I'll kick your ass. There's no way she's not nominating you. You have to say, look, um, Erica, this is something I can only discuss with you, but you can't discuss with Will, but I think Danielle's the bigger threat. And the way that, you know, Will thinks of playing this game is get rid of your the, your bigger threat while you can because the time's winding down fast. And Danielle's gonna flip on you real quick. Mike Boogie and I had a quick conversation and I said, you better become Lance Showmance at about 9 p.m. tonight. So he needs to get up in that HOH room and get Erica influenced, if you know what I mean. See, the thing is, she'll never think of Danielle as a bigger target than Janelle. Let, let her do her nominations. Mm -hmm. Let us do our magic in the POV. Okay, but make sure we don't get nominated, dude. We're not. You sure? She thinks she's in Chilltown, dude. I'm telling you. The only thing, the only thing I'm worried about is she says, I got to put Will up as the pawn. But I'm just going to say the last three pawns have left. Yeah. No way. Janelle's going up. I'm just making sure us two aren't the other two names. Fine. Am I really putting my future in Mike Boogie's lovemaking ability? This might not be pretty. You gotta work that this time. I'll, I'll work it, don't worry. Chill town. Chill town. There's still a lot of chill left in the town. <laughs> <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> George idolizes chill town. Uh, I think he, of everyone, knew the damage that Will and I could do. Uh, we are very deadly, and we've been knocked a lot of people out of this game. Uh, George is the one person who's sort of onto us in that respect. Huh? And how they left this guy. <laughs> they don't even mess with the doctor, the baddest player in reality show history. Let's not mess with him, though. Let's go after some guy who wears beaded chiclet necklaces. <laughs> You've won an HOH and a POV. I've won nothing. You're much more deadly than I am. Oh. How the chill town made it this far, I have no idea. They're not even nominated. <laughs>
That is just wrong, man. <laughs> Some part of it's so wrong. Wrong. Oh, so if that's, that's wrong, not right, I don't want to be right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one. Um, I'm working outside, and there's a storm comes up real quick. Well, I'm there in the garage, and it just, there was a pole, and I was hanging out onto this pole and cord and everything. Lightning hits the pole. <laughs> what? And I'm hanging onto the pole. Okay? Uh, it was just a bolt of lightning, and it just cracked, and all I could hear was the crack. No way. The lightning comes down the pole, the thing that I'm hanging on to. <laughs> I get knocked out. And I just... George, are you saying you've been struck by lightning? <laughs> yeah, I was struck by lightning. Isn't that the kind of story that you would want to mention, like when you first meet someone? Like, that's kind of a life altering event. And it also explains his unique behavior. I wake up and I'm like, honestly, I'm like smoking. And they go, well, you could have all these side effects. Nah, nothing was ever the matter with me. <laughs> How have you, we been here 60 days and you haven't told this story yet? You've been struck by lightning? Well, it was a long time ago, but yeah. I was the odds by are... lightning. Wow. Now, important question. Did you have any superpowers afterwards? No. Well, come on, Doc. I would have showed them by now. <laughs> Good point. Chicken George is one of five people in the way of me winning all the marbles here. And if you've already been struck by lightning in life, is it really possible you're going to win a game show of this magnitude? I don't think so, because lightning doesn't strike twice, people. It doesn't. <laughs> this is what you have to say, Erica. You can't beat Janelle in the finals, but you can't beat Danielle either. We gotta strike fast, because otherwise, you're gonna be in the finals with Danielle, and she's gonna beat you. This is a critical week for Chilltown. We have to make the perfect decision or one of us will be leaving next week. If I win POV, I can pull Janelle off. She'll be safe and I'll be safe. I'm gonna drop the Danielle thing tonight and then we'll see what happens with the POV. The thing is, if you win it or I win it or Janelle wins it, we can go to Erica and say, look, Erica, put Danielle up, we'll send Danielle out. Yeah, exactly. You or Will have to get HOH next week and put Daniel up. Right. There's no doubt about it, the two of them have to go. But you have to be prepared to maybe have Daniel go this week. You know? Wow. Because if Danielle's not against anybody else, but you can do a show in the finals, she'll win. I think she needs to go. Wow. Wait, you really want me to pee over here? I mean, and you really want me to put her up like that? Yeah. So I found out that you're really I'm gonna kick your ass. Why have you said that two nights in a row? <laughs> <laughs> you're scaring me. She what? earned it. It's I, I just can't even fathom that time. She's a terminator. She couldn't even pause for a second. Right. Janelle won her fourth power of veto tonight. The girl is a whirlwind tour of competition madness. This is what's crazy. If you think Janelle's time was 25% better than Danielle's, it was 700% better than yours and 2,400 times better than Chicken George's. Janelle is, and I give respect where respect is due, hands down, the best reality competitor I have ever seen. Wow. Hmm. This will be a very interesting time for Erica because her showmance, AKA moi, uh, and his best friend certainly don't want to go on the block, and her best girlfriend in the house is Danielle. She has to put one of us up there. You're gonna have to send her home. I know you don't want to be that girl. I can't. You can't put her up. I'll send her home. We'll be the hitmen. Seriously. She'll blame us because we'll lie all week and then we'll just send her home.
It's difficult because I'm an emotional person and um, I play emotionally. My head's telling me to do something and my heart's telling me to do another. It takes people like Will and Boogie to kind of like say, this is what you really need to do. At some point, Erica, I know it's not your nature. You were gonna have to be bad. You know what I mean? You were gonna have to do something you didn't wanna do. You can't go the whole distance like that or you can't finish fourth. This is that decision that defines the difference between final five and final three to two to one to one. I mean, they get rid of Danielle now. It's us three versus Janelle and Jake and George. And Janelle's not coming after you. She's coming after one, two. I mean, so I know Janelle. There comes a point in time when you use your alliances up until a part where you have to let them go. I just don't know if now is the right time to turn on Dan. I don't, I don't know. Do you really think? We can't. No. No. Not at all. Are you, if you take, are you going to take it to the final two if you win it? If it's the three of us, yeah. we thought we were all going to have a conversation down the road. I know your loyalty is to him. I'm feeling pressure from Chilltown to put up Danielle. I ultimately, I just want to do what's best for me in this game. Oh, sucks. No. Boogie, could you come upstairs? So what'd you and Janelle talk about? Make nice a little? I was just what are you gonna getting do? her thoughts about. Her plans? If she was me. I think it's everyone agrees that Danielle is probably the strongest threat to win this game at this point. Mm -hmm. I mean, the two of them are the front runners. What about They're Will, though? Be... Will is also a very dangerous player. Will doesn't give a Well, it makes me nervous, you know, to keep you and Will together. But the... I feel like I'm going to be the Diane, bros before hoes. We're not trying to sugarcoat this. I mean, what's your alternative? I'm not presenting Danielle as an option mm -hmm. because I'm trying to be some, like, have my cake and eat it too. I'm just wondering if right now is the timing to do that. Is it? I mean... I know it is. They everybody's know telling you. <laughs> so I'm like, is it time? It's time. I mean, yeah, it's time. I don't know if you've noticed, but the color pictures are dwindling. <laughs> It's gonna be fine. Don't stress out. You're America's choice. Boop, 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 boop. Ring. Hey, hello. Hey, Boogie. What up, man? Do you remember a few weeks back when I got my showmance to put up her very best friend, Marcellus, and then we evicted him? Yeah. Could I bother you to do that this week with your showmance? Just get her to put up her best friend, Danielle? Sure, no problem. Cool. Phenomenal. Your speech was very true. That was a great job. Right now in the house, Danielle and Erica, there's a lot of tension between them. It's hilarious. I'm the one who did this, and no one's even mad at me. Janelle's in love with me. Erica's totally cool with me. And Danielle, I'm going to string her along just like I did with James, just like I did with Howie, just like I did with Marcellus. We are chilled down. We work quickly. We work secretly. We are ninjas. No one knows what we're doing. No one knows we're together. Just chill, okay? <laughs> Being that I'm a secret member of Chilltown, I think they have my back. Everything's cool later on Chilltown. We don't get work done. We work by secret ninja moves. No one knows what we're doing. Things are good. Okay. No one knows that I'm with Chilltown. No one. Except for Chilltown, of course. Where's everybody else? The girls are in the back sleeping. It's a good time for this chill town meeting. So George, when the boys really need you, you're going to be there for us, right? Step it up. Because Will and I have really, really looked out for you. We just want to make sure it's going to be bros before host. <laughs> Done. Team George, your official member of Chilltown. What do you think of that? I want to get a Chilltown t-shirt. <laughs> 
I am an honorary member of Chill Town. Could you imagine me in Chill Town? Let's make this work. The chill is in the town still. <laughs> So this week, Chill Town gave out honorary memberships to everybody in this house. How many are you actually going to honor? Zero. I'll never forget our Legion of Doom days. I wish we could have taken it further. You're just an amazing player, and Chicken George is not. I'm sorry I had to lie to you. Uh, I know that you wanted me to tell you, but I just, I just couldn't do it. Well, obviously, I'm going to use the veto to veto my nomination to Janelle as current HOH. <sighs> Well, there's only two people left, and um, I'm going to have to nominate um, Boogie. I'm sorry. It's not so bad over here, Boogie. Thank you for taking the proper seat, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Every week. Now what am I doing? Am I doing anything? <laughs> what would you like to say? Real quick, I just have to thank my business partner, Lonnie Moore, at the Dolce Group. I told him I'd be back in two weeks, and only through his hard work am I able to be here. Uh, for the house guests, uh, nobody likes me on that jury. I know things may seem easy to vote out somebody for strength for you guys going into future competitions, but uh, this is a very sympathetic character that's going to be very tough to beat in the end. By a vote of two to zero, George you have been evicted from the Big Brother All-Star House. It's okay if you want. I'm going to have a heart attack! Bring. Hello. Will. Yeah. Okay, so Big Brother kicked it into overdrive tonight. Danielle was evicted immediately. Janelle won the HOH. You got her in another room to not put us up. And then... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to hurry. My thumb hurts. What's the bottom line? The bottom line is we're both still here. In the final four, it's Operation Double Date. Uh, you got on the one side the Buxom Blonde, Miss Janelle. You have Miss Body Karate Pilates, Erica. And then on the other side, you got the Chill Town Boys. Super Bowl! You are taking me. To I don't do it. <laughs> Might as well lose your girlfriend. I have to now. I'd like to stand next to Boogie in the end because I don't think I could win against Will and I definitely don't think I could win against Janelle. I think it would be cute to have us two, the final two, the two lovebirds. Good, thank you. I mean, I knew it, but I just was afraid of it too. You were? I don't know, I just, it so happened so fast. Erica is under the impression that if we can get to the final three, that I will take her to the finals. That ain't happening. Ooh. king of reality showmances. What happens under the covers stays under the covers. <laughs> For instance, on season two of Big Brother, uh, I was really interested in Krista. I'm happy that I'm spending my birthday with the prettiest girl in the house with, oh. with the biggest heart. All right, so thank, thank you, you very much. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> thank you. This season, I had two targets in mind. They were Diane and Erica. Diane was evicted. Then I made my move in on Erica. I'd much rather you just be yourself. <laughs> I like you That's the way you are. Number one don't in showmancing, don't ever get real feelings for the person. There might be real genuine feelings between Mike and I. We're a match made in Big Brother heaven. I'm sure people are gonna say I'm having a showmance with Mike Boogie. There's nothing wrong with two men being in a hot tub together sometimes, right? It's a bromance. <laughs> <laughs> Erica, all of a sudden, I see her smoking a couple cigarettes now, here and there, and she's kind of like the goody two-shoes of the house. So I didn't really know what was up with that. I don't find it very attractive. And uh, when you go to kiss her, it tastes like an ashtray, and I, 
I don't date smokers. I smell like cigarettes. Oh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. What's your tea? It's not my breath. It's my lungs. It's horrible. I can't even believe I started smoking again here. It's disgusting. She looks like she's aged five years. That makes you, Mike Boogie, the new HOH! Yes. Winning this HOH gives me a great sigh of relief because I know I'm guaranteed a shot at the final three. It's beyond words. I feel like I've actually won the show. The truth is, HOH, it's not that important. I'm not concerned at all about nominations for two reasons. One, Mike Boogie's not going to nominate me. Two, even if he did, it wouldn't matter. Whoever wins POV, that is who has all the power this week. I thought, I thought this one was yours. If you eliminate enough people, eventually you'll do okay. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Erica wins and I go up, she's got to get rid of Janelle. If Janelle wins and I go up, she's going to get rid of Erica. That's very unbelievable, right? you got to invite Erica. Mike Boogie is going to showmance Erica. I'm going to have my faux mance with Janelle. By the time we're done with the two of them, we will have them hating each other and so suspicious of each other that hopefully, no matter what happens, they will try to evict each other. Janelle, when you get married, what's the smallest diamond ring you would wear? The diamond ring doesn't really matter. Like a two-carat. Really? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm surprised. I think you'd be satisfied with just a little rubber band. Why does it have to be a ring or something? I'd be happy with a friendship bracelet. <laughs> as long as it's on a 180-foot yacht, it'd be fine. Why do you think this way of me? That you'd want a big ring? Yeah. I don't. I He does. No, I didn't think that. I'd be satisfied with anything. But the wedding would have to be in Minnesota. I would be totally fine eloping and getting married somewhere. Can I see Will's face when I drop this? You might want to refrain from whatever this idea is. I can just tell in your tone of voice. Why don't we have a crazy weekend in Vegas and you guys do like a fake cheesy wedding? Why would we do that? Because you guys do your little flirt thing and you pretend that you get married even though you have respective others in your life. What if Will and I really do get married? Like we're drinking and stuff? It's a book seat. That's what I'm hoping for. Next thing you know, I'm spending the next week getting an annulment in Vegas. Why would you do that, Will? so that we could get married in Minnesota and have it legit. Well. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the bullet, kind of. You guys want to come see the HOH room? Sure. <laughs> SpaghettiOs, right on. You like SpaghettiOs? I love SpaghettiOs. Mike Boogie got a bunch of items in his HOH basket. End of the day, who really cares? I can get SpaghettiOs at Ralph's. Come on, we have bigger issues here. Well, I'm gonna draw a bath. We don't even really have to go to any other part of the house. Please, get your suits on. You, you want to take a bath with us? Well, duh. Put your suits on. Why don't you just get in the jacuzzi? Why don't you? Will thought he would take a bath, and I said, uh, why sit in a small hot tub when we have the entire house to ourselves and the big hot tub? Oh, it's bigger. Let's get a jacuzzi, Will. Let's go jacuzzi. There's more room. Look at this final four. Look at this final four. Hot tub toast, Final, Final four. four. Yeah! <laughs> Big Brother All-Stars. Why don't you guys have a baby? Look at this genetics. You want a baby. You want a baby. Maybe these crazy kids ought to have a baby. I think Tonight. So. We're not allowed to bring watches in the Big Brother house, but if you hear a loud clicking, it's Erica's biological clock. A 
figured as a good friend and a, it's a good situation, let's encourage them to have a baby. As much as we joke around, maybe I should consider having a baby. The two of us? It can't yeah. just be like, I let's have a baby. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. That's a lot more thought than a lot of people put into it, particularly you having a licensed healthcare practitioner in the state of California as an advisory member to this conception. I already have his name. Chillium. Chillium. <laughs> Chillium Boogie. We call him Chill for short. Chill. Wanna have a baby, bud? The talk strangely ended up with me and Mike Boogie having a baby. I want to have a baby with Mike. We're going to have a baby. I guess it would be a big brother baby, a triple B. You know how you celebrate a HOH victory? You have a baby. I said, I want to ask a question. I don't want this to be weird. Could I deliver the baby? They're Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. You could be the nurse. Oh, really? One of the major ploys of the week is to really cement my relationship with Erica. Oh, you go upstairs and have a baby with Erica. <laughs> What's that? Uh, no, baby. Nerd? You know, she's in her mid-30s now. She needs to start thinking about the future. And um, I was willing to do that. I am willing to do anything at this point to make sure Chilltown gets to the final two. All right, Boogie, don't let you nail that down. Not only will I not do that. Yeah, but I need, like, proof. What do you want? What do you want? Something. Whoa. I was like, Mike, I'm like, you know, trying to listen to this conversation. He was like, hey, what's going on? I was like, he ruined it. He's not good with spying. I will definitely be in charge of teaching our child spying lessons. Is there something going on in here? No. What do we have here? Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Boogie, could you leave? Oh, you need a private minute, thanks. Could you please just go away? It's nice just to be next to each other. I can't wait to get you out of this house. <laughs> it's okay. What I really like about each other is we both have enough respect for each other. We're not like we're trying to push things. Who'd have thought it? Meet my mate in the Big Brother house. I think that there, there'll definitely be something between the two of us when we leave. I mean, we'll never forget this. I mean, people don't have this in their lives. You can just call it cheesy or call it a reality show or whatever it is, but we'll just experience we'll never forget. Erica is going to be extremely hurt after the show. To do it next to someone that I care so much about is just amazing. It's very sweet, I miss it. I'm a bad, bad person. Oh, crap. I am going to hell. So happy. Let me to take your hand. Yeah, we're playing. Or your hand. hand. All right. It's you crappy. have bad cards. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Oh. There you go. Is there? Is this your turn? Yes. Is there anything you guys want to discuss while we have a free moment? I mean. With the veto. This is a tricky scenario. The head of household has immunity, but the power of veto winner gets to send somebody home of their choice. If you get the power of veto, uh, you're in a good spot. As long as one of the three of us wins a veto, it's fine. You win it. Right. Take yourself off, put me up, you'll save me. Right. They say that I'm safe, but I only believe them um, like a tiny bit because Chilltown lies a lot. <laughs> Though Erica still thinks that I'm coming after you guys. Do I want to believe them? Yeah, desperately. But um, I don't know if that will really happen because I've won more competitions and I probably have more friends in the jury house than Erica. Play it, play it. Do not discard these. OK. Uh, it it's Erica's turn, yeah. She's like, look, the three of us versus Erica's the POV. Mm -hmm. We told her okay, but obviously, if you want to take yourself off, mm -hmm. I'll be up and you vote her out. Okay. If um, I win it, I'm going to keep it the same and I'm going to vote her out. I'll be the bad guy and send her out, no problem. I know you guys are telling her the exact same thing when I leave her out. <laughs> <laughs> Erica jokingly said, You know, oh, I know you're probably telling Jill the same thing. We were like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> she, Did she talk openly with? 
you so much. For she that. talks to me alone. She doesn't. She, she doesn't, doesn't like. like she doesn't like boogie. So, she hates you. She's like, I hate. She talks to me alone, and at the end of the day, 95% of our conversations has not had to do with this game. The way we've set this up is that they both uh, have thought that they're uh, members of Chilltown for several weeks now. So we've shown signs of trust to both of them, uh, so much so to the point that they, they can't even question us. It's perfect. You're putting me up? I'm just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I shouldn't have picked you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can't put me up. Why not? Let's put two people up. It doesn't matter. I don't want to be nominated with Boogie. It makes me kind of look like a homeance. Yeah, it makes you look like a homeance. You can't nominate me. Why not? Well, let me think. What if you nominate you can. me? You can. It doesn't matter. What if you nominate me? If you trust me, I trust you. I think it doesn't matter. What's your concern that it makes it look like a homeance? Yeah. No, I don't want to look like not. a homeance. Come on, Boogie. I don't call it that. I'm I'll let campus. you guys be surprised. How's that? You are safe. Uh, I have nominated you, Janelle, and you, Erica. Janelle, uh, you know, I just, uh, it's purely strategy. Um, you're a great player, and I've really enjoyed getting to know you the last couple weeks, and I'm glad that we could get along a lot better. Um, Erica, I know that you really wanted that to be your key. Um, you are far too special and um, have meant so much to me in the house to ever be some girl who kissed a guy on a reality show and got did wrong. So um, I wish I could have put another key in there, but, um, but I probably wouldn't have gotten this far in the game uh, without Will. And I just thought that for the last key pulled for Big Brother All-Stars that it would only be fitting that I could um, pull out his. So I guess that's all I have to say. And this final nomination ceremony is adjourned. In my estimation, Chilltown has positioned themselves perfectly. We have both girls thinking that we want to go to the final three with them and hopefully have Chilltown sitting in the two final seats. And if one of us doesn't win All-Stars, it's going to be a crime. Say what you want about the Operation Double Date. It worked too well. Yep. How? I don't know. Who would want to date us scumbags? I don't know, but they do. It started as a joke, but Operation yep. Double Date was the smartest yep. move. Yep. I mean, there's no way you go home this week, right? Oh, I absolutely could. Erica could send me home. Erica has a strong spirit. She's kind of a maverick. She nominated her best friend, Danielle. She could easily kick Janelle out if she wins POV, but she could also kick me out. Like, she's going to win it, and she's going to vote me out just like Allison did. She's stressed out. Yeah. Why are you stressed out? Because this is the week I went home the first time. She's beatable. She has to have confidence. Look, Logie keeps the nominations the same. I'll send her out. I win it. I'll keep nominations the same. I'll send her out. You win it. Right. You switch it up. You send her out. I trust Chilltown as much as, you know, you can really trust anyone here. So, you know, we'll see. Well, you got to be motivated for this. I know you're kind of sitting back. Okay. I mean, I know you're immune this week, but you got to be motivated. None of us can beat her in the finals. Oh, Period. Of course. It just ended, and Erica was already like, you know, you can't beat Will, you know, yeah. like. It um, makes me feel a lot better right. about this. I mean, I mean, it goes to show you, Erica's not, she's not sweet. She's not sweet. Exactly. Erica's grasping at straws. She knows that she's the odd person out in this foursome right now. This way, it's nice and easy. Janelle can kick her out. I can look like the supportive boyfriend. I haven't been eating a lot of desserts this summer, but uh, apparently sometimes you can't have your cake and eat it, too. Go ahead and use it on myself and get off the block. Okay. Since Janelle used the power veto, Mike? As HOH, you have only one choice as a replacement nominee. So please go ahead, Mike. Okay. I can't believe you're nominated. <laughs> uh, by default, I can't believe this is actually going to come out of my mouth, but uh, I have to nominate my chill town man, Will. I understand. There's nobody else. Thank you, Mike. Now, Janelle, uh -huh. the fate of Will and Erica is now solely in your hands. I'll be back in a few minutes to hear your decision. 
Coming up, tonight's live eviction. Janelle has a big decision ahead of her. Who will she vote out of the Big Brother house? Welcome back to Big Brother All-Stars. In just a few moments, Will or Erica will be evicted. Since the head of household, Mike, cannot vote, the power to evict is solely in the hands of Janelle. Let's go back to the living room for her decision. Hello, house guests. Right now, I'm going to ask each of the nominees to state their case as to why Janelle should keep you in the house. And Erica, you're up first. Okay, I'm going to keep this really short and sweet. Um, Janelle, you are probably one of the most fiercest competitors here and an extremely intelligent woman, and I have faith that you will make the right choice. Thank you, Erica. Will, you're up. There's been a lot of hatred in this house this summer, and a lot of that hatred is now in the jury house, and it's directed at me. So for my own personal safety, I humbly request that you keep me away from those people as long as possible. All right. <clears throat> Thank you both. Now, just a reminder, the evicted house guest will have one minute to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. Janelle, please stand and cast your vote to evict now. Um, well, this is an extremely hard position to be in. Um, I'm really friends with both of you. Um, Will, you're like the closest person in the house to me. Um, I really feel like this summer I've made a lot of mistakes in the house. And um, after tonight, I'm done making mistakes. And for Marcellus and Howie, I vote to evict you, Will. Sorry. It's official, Will. You have been evicted from the Big Brother oh, All-Star House. God. Good game. Awesome. Awesome job. <laughs> Mike Boogie. Let's see it. Hug <laughs> it out. Awesome job, dude. Awesome job. Thanks, man. Bye, Sorry. Guys. No, it's all right. <laughs> Have fun at sequester. You got it. Give Howie a big kiss for us. You guys got it. See you, Will. Thanks, Janelle. You're welcome. Congratulations. Thank you. Five years ago, the two of us walked into Big Brother House, and um, uh, you left with the money, but we both left with something so much more valuable, and that's our amazing friendship. Uh, we were the yin and yang in here, and I had really hoped that uh, it would be the two of us sitting in those final two seats. We almost pulled it off, and this was one for the ages, man. Chill town forever, baby. Hey, Julie. Yes, Mike? You remember Richard Hatch? Yes, I do. They both have to take me to the finals. What? Oh, 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 what? You got down. You, you can't take each other. You have to take me. You won't make that big a mistake. You won't. You did the smartest play ever tonight, Janelle. You, you can't make that mistake. You can't take her. I wasn't going to. I'll play in part two. Janelle, you, we can't take him. He played us too hard this whole game. As she started to speak, uh, I got a weird uh, feeling in my stomach, and I felt like I knew he was about to be... Awesome job. Awesome job. Will came to me today and said that he was nervous, but I thought he owned Janelle, and Erica seemed resigned to be going home, but the girls just did an excellent job of acting, and... Uh, I just, it totally, I'm totally flabbergasted. Give Howie a big kiss for us. You guys got it. See you, Will. Congratulations. Thank you. Checkmate. Erica, she's just, she's just like, checkmate. Showmances can be very effective for you. It kind of turned into a homance, and I'm just glad that America now knows that uh, that Erica is in fact a hoe. So I've used that girl up for all I need. I've gotten myself in a position to win this game, and uh, that's all she was good for.
got white all of a sudden. I didn't think it was going to happen. Happy for you, but obviously, I'm surprised. This is the first time all season that Chilltown really got played. Uh, Erica has been moping around. She had her uh, ugly long face on all day. She knew all along she was staying. So I give her credit for um, being, you know, a backstabbing witch. But uh, now the gloves are off and uh, let's box. Let's do this. Smart move, Janelle. I'm sorry. No, I nobody here could beat him. That's I know. A, that was a smart move. I give him credit. Took a lot of guts. I just felt like you guys would team up on me, that's all. No, I mean, I mean you he's, he's tough to beat. His, if he sat in the two against any of us, he's a legend. Yeah. You, you would have lost. Every one of us would have lost. I know. I understand. It took a lot of guts. <clears throat> I think Erica and I are getting the last laugh. I mean, what goes around comes around, right? I made a very quick decision in the HOH competition to reference the Richard Hatch Survivor 1 move where he knew he was the most hated and he bowed out early of the endurance portion. You did the smartest play ever tonight, Janelle. Can't make that mistake, you can't take her. These two girls in their respective seasons uh, did very well in endurance. I knew that they would be very determined to beat me. I was not willing to stand on that block for 14 or 15 hours or whatever it would have taken. In part two, I'm gonna uh, take my chances. I've never been in the Big Brother house in two seasons uh, without Will, so it's a very odd feeling. I'm very upset right now. <sighs> can dish it out, but we can't take it. <sighs> it's like the emotions are all over the place and I just don't feel very good. <laughs> I have to reset and I have to figure out how I'm going to play the rest of this game without Will and I have to regroup, circle the wagons and figure out what I'm going to do to get to the end. Ring! 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 are going to be playing for the final HOH. I'd much rather be playing against Janelle because I think Janelle and I came to an understanding that the two boys played us and um, if he gets to the final, he'll win. Congratulations. <laughs> I feel kind of bad that Erica and Bowie get to compete in the third part. And I have to watch. It's super hard. Was it? I'm worried that they won't take me to the final two. Why would they take me? Yeah, that's for you, Mom! I told you I'd get you a convertible. Mom, I got the car for you. Good job, Mikey. Good job. Thanks. Yes! GM Pontiac Solstice, baby! You'd much rather sit next to me? Of course. Yeah? Yeah. Honestly? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't think either of us can beat her. You just have to decide if you want to trust me, mm -hmm. dump it, let me be the bad guy. I'm not going to ask you to do that, but there's no way I'm sitting next to the girl that's won nine competitions and has all those friends there. You know, if you evict me, you won't get me. Exactly. And you'll lose two if you evict me. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to threaten her um, that if she did the same, not only would she lose my vote, but she'd lose Will's vote as well. Do you not trust me if I win? I don't know. I hate him. And I hate the fact that I'm still attracted to him because I hate him so much. Let's hear what Howie said. The most shocking moment in the house was George winning HOH. The correct answer is B. You both got it right, but Mike wins with five points. Oh Congratulations, Mike. You are the final head of household. That's for you, Will. She'll tell me. Mates oh in the living room, oh Janelle. Erica, Janelle, 
In just a few moments, Mike will cast his vote to evict. You now have a chance to plead your case. Remember, what you say could determine whether you sit next to Mike on finale night. Erica, you're up first. Hmm. Well, Mike, um, it's been a long ride. We've had an alliance in this game from the very, very beginning. Um, you know, I've always had your back, and I think you probably have a better chance of beating me than you do Janelle, since she's Janelle. <laughs> so I really appreciate it if you take me with you. Go ahead, Janelle. Um, I know that you were close with Erica, but we've been talking the last few days, and she actually discovered that you and Will were playing everyone, so that would be hard to bring her to the end because she can point out the fact that she discovered you guys earlier on that you were playing everyone, so, and I was so easily influenced, I think I'll lose anyway. Thank you both. Just a reminder, the evicted house guest will have one minute to say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. Mike, please stand and cast your vote to evict now. I just want to say happy birthday to Lonnie Moore and to get right down to the business, uh, I adore both of you. I've been aligned with both of you at times and um, you're both incredible players. I was fans of yours and this is the most surreal thing in the world that I would sit here and be in this position to do this. Um, Erica, I did hold you responsible for Will's eviction even though Janelle had cast the vote. Um, but I'm not here for vengeance. Uh, Janelle, you are a phenomenal player. You, I hated you, I loved you, I adore you. I couldn't say a bad word about you. You are too good at this. You've won nine competitions. You have too many friends on the jury. I love you, but I have to evict you, sweetie. It's fun. It's official. I love you too. I'm sorry, Janelle. Janelle, you are the last person to be evicted from the Big Brother All Star House. Don't worry, I'm not mad. I love you too. Good game, guys. You were amazing. You guys Janelle. are awesome. You were amazing. One last spin. Oh, yeah. Who's the prettiest girl? <laughs> Bow down to the Bye, princess. Janelle. Bye, guys. You deserve to win, sweetheart. I'm sorry. No, you do. We're going to have a lot of fun. Champagne at Les Du on me. Awesome. All right? I love it. I love Bye, you, guys. Bye. We'll miss Bye, you. Bye, gorgeous. Oh, my God. What the hell is going to go on? You thought I wouldn't keep you? Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. <gasps> Look at these black and white faces. Mark, I can't believe that. Oh, look at these people, Erica, on this board. She's amazing. Oh. Did that just happen? I had this. Hi, house guest. It's Marcellus. Hi, What's up? honey. I think I have the same question for each of you. Strategically, what do you think was your best move during the game? Boogie! My best move in the game was not using the special power that I had and keeping Janelle in the game and aligning with her for the home stretch. I knew that if I did, I would only be able to use it on Janelle or the rest of the house would figure out that we were working with her. So keeping Janelle in the game was the best move. Congratulations, house guest! And then congratulations on you two finding the love of your lives. <laughs> My question to Boogie is this, Boogie. Will you ask Erica's hand in marriage on the live show just as you did with Krista on Big Brother number two? Uh, thanks, Georgie. I had a great time with her, um, but I will not be proposing on the finale. Yay! I got to keep my bromance with Will. We know who he's really in love with. Bring, bring. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Boogie, it's Will. <laughs> What's up, man? How you doing? Dude, are you in the final two? <laughs> <laughs> Boogie, you looked me in my face, and you said you were going to be my Jason. Well, Boogie, Jason would have never done what you did to me. So justify yourself. I'll make you a deal, Danielle. You give me your vote to win the money, and if I go home to my TiVo and I don't see more than one Jason, I'll give you half. I think James was your Jason. I think Erica was your Jason. I think I was your Jason. You were a very dangerous player that had to go. And um, 
I, I just will, won't apologize for it. Boogie, you told me in the house it was bros before hoes. Don't you think that sending me a step in was going to cost you a vote in the jury house? Howie, I want to give you the uh, evolution of your demise. Um, when I saw you hang off the spider ropes, I looked at your arms, they were bloody, and I said to Will, we have got to get this guy out of here, and no one's talking about him, and he's the most entertaining guy. He may never get nominated. I deserve a lot of credit uh, for getting you nominated. I did it on no notice uh, in one minute's time in the Red Room. And again, I'm sorry for your feelings, but I deserve a lot of credit for making that happen with Chick and George that day. And when the opportunity presented itself, Chilltown took it. The truth is, with the exception of Chicken George and Will, I lied to each and every one of you. You all didn't know it, but you were all one big member of Chilltown. There was one big alliance, and we were smart enough to keep you in the positions we wanted to. And when you started to figure it out is when you got evicted. Um, I uh, have a lot of respect for all you guys. Uh, because of the seven of you gave me a little something that you did, probably didn't even know. Uh, Marcellus, you motivated me. Howie, you entertained me. Janelle and James, you challenged me. And Danielle and George, you inspired me. And Will, you did all of the above. Please vote like all stars and reward my gameplay. I humbly and respectfully ask you to vote Mike Boogie as the champion of Big Brother 7. Thank you. Thanks, we miss you. We miss you, we love you. Let's take a look at Chilltown in action. Caller ID, Mike Boogie, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? So, check this out. You ready for the latest? Sure. I think I just formed a sub-alliance between us and James from S6 and Danielle, the girl we tried to vote out the first week. This is Mike Boogie? Yeah, they're going for it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody get these fools a blindfold, because they're in the dark. <laughs> they're in the dark. Bring. Hey, hello. Hey, Boogie. What up, man? Do you remember a few weeks back when I got my showmance to put up her very best friend, Marcellus, and then we evicted him? Yeah. Could I bother you to do that this week with your showmance? Just get her to put up her best friend, Danielle? <laughs> sure, no problem. Cool. <laughs> hey, Boogie, did you win uh, POV today? Nah. I want a trip to Aruba for two in a plasma television. Did you win POV? No, I won uh, 5,000 bucks. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. Oh. Erica, congratulations. You're in the final two. Wade represents season four. Thank you. Mike Boogie, congratulations. You played Erica the whole season long. Better than Big Brother, you played that girl. Erica, I hope you use that money. Buy yourself some dignity. Let's take, oh. let's take a look at what Allison is talking about. Who knew I would meet my mate in the Big Brother house? I think that there'll definitely be something between the two of us when we leave. Number one don't in showmancing, don't ever get real feelings for the person. If I found out you're playing me after this, I'll kick your ass. Showmances can be very effective for you. It kind of turned into a homance. And I'm just glad that America now knows that, uh, that Erica is, in fact, a hoe. What happens under the covers stays under the covers. <laughs> I've used that girl up for all I need. I've gotten myself in a position to win this game. And uh, that's all she was good for. It's all fun and games until she gives it up and then gets voted out by me on Thursday. I am going to hell. <laughs> And I think oh Erica's going to be sending you there, uh, Mike. Erica, what do you have to say about what you just saw? Hey, I'm sitting here in the final two, so obviously it did a, you know, we played each other. I mean, that's the Big Brother game. Mike, what do you have to say? Well, some of the most harshest, co the harshest comments were um, 10 minutes after she got uh, Will evicted. So, you know, it's an edited television show, people. Just remember that. But there was an element of playing each other in this game, yes. Marcellus has voted for Erica to win Big Brother All Stars. Howie's vote goes to Mike. To be crowned the winner.
Danielle's vote goes to Mike. So far, that's two votes for Mike, one vote for Erica. Chicken George has voted for Mike to be the winner of Big Brother All Stars. And this vote from Will goes to Mike. Congratulations with full votes. You are the winner. James voted for Mike to be the winner. Mike, congratulations again. Thank Good you. job. But we have one more piece of business tonight. I'm about to reveal which one of you America has chosen to win the $25,000 jury prize. And that person is... Let's hope it's a chill town member. <laughs> no problem. Yeah. Janelle. jet ski and a gold chain from last time so <laughs> buy some stuff for my family and friends uh i reinvest in some restaurants we're opening three places in atlanta in a couple months so i'll probably use it for that you also want a trip to aruba who are you going to take uh i don't know that's going to be a tricky one i may have to give it to my business partner uh because i've been gone for a long time so erica congratulations Thank you're you. going home with fifty thousand. i know i'm very excited about that Two days of being locked away and so much game playing. I'm just relieved that it's over. I really well, am. Thank you. Congratulations Thanks. to all of you. And I want to say congratulations and thank you to all the house guests for an amazing summer. From outside of Bigger, Big Brother All Star House, I'm Julie Chen. Have a great night. A new episode of Rockstar Supernova is coming up next here on CBS. The new Amazing Race is coming. CBS Sunday after 60 Minutes. For the small town of Jericho, the mystery has begun. The only question now is what will happen next. Outside, it's like there's no one there. You need to get some lights off before people start losing them. And there is nothing inside. Tonight's Big Brother All-Star winner is live on the...